Hi everyone, welcome to this course of REST API Automation Framework for Beginners. In this video, we will discuss about the roadmap that we will follow throughout this course. So let's get started. So in this first video, we will be going through the stages that we will cover in this roadmap. So very first, we will discuss about what is REST, what is REST API, how it works, a quick introduction about REST. Then in the next stage, we will be discussing about HTTP CRUD operations, which are kind of used on in REST APIs. And then we will understand what are query parameters and headers. After that, in the next stage, we will be doing a hands-on exercise using the Postman and we will test the REST API using the Postman tool. Then after that, we will slowly, gradually move towards the REST API automation framework setup. So in this, we will be setting up our REST Assured Maven project, where we will be using Java as our primary language of coding. After that, we will be going through the automation framework architecture, um, what kind of uh, automation framework architecture we will be following, how different modules will interact with each other, with each other. So this is the things that we are going to cover in this stage. After this stage, we will be doing the testing or validating the API responses using our automation framework only. And in the next stage, since in every automation framework, we need some source of input test data source, which could provide test data to the automation framework. So we will be doing an exercise using Excel as our test data source. So we will do an Excel integration. And after that, in the next stage, we will be using the test ng data providers. Data providers are kind of very handy in terms of when we need to integrate different data source with our automation framework. And in the next or the last stage of this roadmap, we will be understanding the complete working of automation framework, how each and every module interacts with each other and how uh, the test cases uh, are getting executed, how report is getting generated. So that's all, uh, all of these things will be covered in this um, process. And that's all for this video. Uh, see you in the next chapter.